Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a trip to Southeast Asia, a land of breathtaking landscapes, delicious food, and rich culture, Vietnam. But before you book your flights and pack your bags, there's one crucial question you need to answer. Do you need a visa for Vietnam? Fear not, wanderlust warriors. I've been there, done that, and spent way too long confused at the airport because I didn't have the right paperwork. Don't worry, it all worked out. In this jam-packed video, We'll crack the code on Vietnam's visa requirements so you can breeze through customs and get straight to exploring. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or a first-time adventurer, this guide will have you covered. So buckle up, grab your metaphorical passport, and let's dive into the world of Vietnamese visas. Visa or no visa? All right, visa ninjas, let's play a quick game. Imagine you're at the airport, Vietnam visa in hand or maybe not, ready to embark on your Vietnamese adventure. Do you know if you need a visa? Here's a simple trick to find out. Are you a citizen of a visa-exempt country? Check out this list. Link in the description for you. If you see your glorious nation shining brightly, congratulations. You can visit Vietnam visa-free for a specific period. High fives all around. Not on the list? Don't fret. Vietnam offers two main options for obtaining a visa, the e-visa and the visa on arrival, VOA. We'll explore both of these options in detail throughout the video. Still unsure? Don't sweat it. The best approach is always to double-check with the nearest Vietnamese embassy or consulate in your country. They'll have the most up-to-date information. For all our lucky viewers with visa-exempt passports, Vietnam welcomes you with open arms. Depending on your nationality, you can enjoy a visa-free stay for anything between 14 and 45 days. That's plenty of time to explore bustling Ho Chi Minh City, soak up the sun on the beaches of Phu Quoc Island, or cruise through the epic Ha Long Bay. Here's a friendly reminder. While a visa isn't required, there are still some things to keep in mind. Double-check the exact duration of your visa-free stay. It varies depending on your country. Your passport needs to be valid for at least six months after your arrival in Vietnam. Make sure you have proof of onward travel, like a flight ticket out of Vietnam. Vietnam e-visa, your digital gateway to Vietnam, the most convenient option for most. Great news for most travelers. Vietnam's e-visa program has become significantly more accessible. If you're not visa exempt, the e-visa is likely the most convenient option for you. Here's how it works. Visit the official Vietnamese e-visa website. Fill out the online application form and upload the required documents, usually a passport scan and a passport-sized photo. Pay the visa fee securely online. Once approved, you'll receive your e-visa via email. E-visas offer a streamlined and hassle-free application process with some key advantages. Wider eligibility. The e-visa program now applies to most nationalities. Check the official website to be sure, but chances are high you can use this convenient option. Valid ports of entry e-visas are valid for entry at most major Vietnamese airports and seaports, offering more flexibility than the previously limited visa on arrival options. Faster processing e-visa applications are typically processed within a few business days, making it a great choice for last-minute trips compared to traditional visa applications at embassies. Validity period. E-visas are now incredibly versatile, offering options ranging from 30 days to a maximum of 90 days. You can also choose between single entry or multiple entry visas depending on your travel plan. However, there are still a few things to keep in mind with e-visas. Double-check entry and exit points. Ensure your chosen ports of entry and exit are valid for e-visas. While most major entry points are covered, there may be exceptions. Plan ahead. Apply for your e-visa well before your trip, especially during peak travel seasons. Not for everyone. There may still be a few exceptional cases where a traditional visa application through an embassy or consulate is required. Double check if your nationality falls under this category. Visa on arrival, an alternative for Vietnam visa. The visa on arrival option is still available for some travelers, though it has become less common due to the convenience of the e-visa program. Here's what you need to know about VOAs. Here's how it works. Secure a visa approval letter beforehand through a travel agency or online service. Pack your bags and hop on that plane. Just kidding, there's a little more to it. Upon arrival at a designated Vietnamese airport, present your passport visa approval letter and the required fees to obtain your visa stamp. Here are some key points to remember about VOAs. Not valid for all ports of entry. VOAs are typically only issued at major Vietnamese international airports. If you're arriving by land or sea, you'll most likely need to apply for a full visa beforehand. Fees involved. The cost of a VOA can vary depending on your nationality. 
processing time for the approval letter and the type of visa, single entry versus multiple entry. Generally, expect to pay somewhere between $30 and $120 for the entire process, on top of the stamping fee at the airport, $25 for single entry, and $50 for multiple entries, respectively. Prepare your documents. Along with your passport and visa approval letter, you'll also need to fill out a visa application form upon arrival. Most airports have these readily available. Consider using the e-visa option whenever possible due to its wider eligibility, faster processing, and validity period options. However, if the e-visa isn't an option for your nationality, or you require a longer stay than 90 days, then the VOA might be a suitable alternative. Important considerations for applying for any Vietnamese visa. All right, visa warriors, we've covered the two main options, the e-visa and the VOA, with a focus on the e-visa due to its wider applicability. But before you jump in and apply, here are some additional tips to keep in mind. Always double check the latest visa information. Visa requirements can change occasionally. Make sure you have the most up-to-date details from official Vietnamese government sources or trusted travel websites. Read the fine print. Pay close attention to the validity period, number of entries allowed, single or multiple, and any extension possibilities for your chosen visa type. Plan ahead. Don't wait until the last minute to apply for your visa, especially if you're opting for a traditional visa application at an embassy or consulate or the VOA option, which still requires some pre-arrival prep. Processing times can vary. Gather your documents. Make sure you have all the required documents in order, such as your passport, passport photos, proof of onward travel, and any additional documents specific to your visa type. Consider using a visa service. If you find the application process daunting, a reputable visa service can help you navigate the paperwork and ensure everything is done correctly. Remember, a little preparation goes a long way for a smooth visa application process. Congratulations, visa warriors! You're now equipped with all the knowledge you need to conquer the world of Vietnamese visas. With the e-visa program becoming the most convenient option for most travelers, planning your Vietnamese escape has never been easier. So, what are you waiting for? Start planning your Vietnamese adventure today. But before you book that flight, leave a comment below letting me know which visa option you think would be best for you and why. Also, if you've had any experiences with applying for a Vietnamese visa, share your tips and stories in the comments. The travel community thrives on sharing knowledge. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and hit that subscribe button for more travel hacks and destination guides. Until next time, happy travels and see you on the flip side.